No stalwart force, no revival of legends, no structure decks, and no secret packs. Completely free to play. My crafting materials? Controlled by you. Join me as I attempt to climb the Master Duel ranks in this series, Master Pack Only. Hello and welcome back to Master Pack Only. So in the last episode we managed to open some more packs, played some ranked, we actually did quite well, we did better than I thought we were going to do, and the account is actually doing pretty well at the moment. Uh, we're Duelist Rank 9, and as we have a peek we can see we are currently in Silver 4, which is pretty good. I mean, again, we were worrying... It, there. We were worrying we were going to get hard to stop bronze, so the fact that we're already in silver is pretty good. Um, we'll be able to get out of silver, that's another question, but so far we've been doing pretty good and I'm quite happy with the progress we've made. So, as you can see, we're currently at 13 duels, 9 wins, which obviously means 4 losses. So, you know, 9 to 4, that's, that's pretty good as far as I'm concerned. So, much the same as last time, we're going to fire away, open some packs, see what we get do some deck building and then we'll just jump into some more ranked games and see how we can go from there. Hopefully we'll get some decent cards, maybe some new ultra res we can maybe build around and see if either we can further our current dragon strategy or if we pivot away from it and go into something else based on the cards we get. So let's fire away and open some packs. So this is the deck that we are going to be using. It isn't much different to last time. Um, I mean, there isn't really much to say here. We, our pools, although we got some interesting cards, um, we tried to use some of them and well, we had a look at them and we thought a lot of them weren't going to be too super good for this deck specifically. So we did pull Tempest, which is a really cool card. But we're not playing that many wind monsters right now, so using its first effect might be difficult and because of that it might just kind of brick in our hand quite a lot and it's if we are able to banish monsters from the graveyard to get it out sure that's great but we can't really use its search effect and we're already using our graveyard quite a lot with our light and dark strategies and uh protoss so protoss is gonna be banishing from the graveyard uh darkness metal is gonna be banishing from the field which means less cards go to the graveyard levian is banishing from the graveyard and our light pulsar dragon is banishing from the graveyard so we're doing a lot of graveyard banishing already which means there might just not be enough room for another graveyard banishing card um but the big new inclusion i suppose is the dragon's mirror so this will let us fusion summon a dragon from our extra deck by banishing fusion materials listed from the graveyard so that means we can more reliably get out our Sorrow of furious dragon just by using ones from the graveyard instead of from the hand and field and also that means it will gain a lot more value. So Dragon's Mirror I think is actually a really, really big pickup, especially since right now we... Our, our game plan is just get a boss monster out and hope that that boss monster is enough to just kind of do what we want it to do. So our main deck still looks a bit funky, like we're still on stuff like um, the Level Warrior, 
which ideally we wouldn't be on, but just having a card that we can special summon just allows us to make possibly some sort of link play or an Xyz play or a synchro play. And a light monster is good because it means we can banish it to get off our Levianir's effect or our light pulsar dragon. And because it is not dark, that means we can also use it for Protoss. So, uh, you know, ups and downs. Uh, do I think this deck is good? Probably still not. Um, do I think it can win some games? I mean, it's, it's proved that it can win games before, so we'll see what we can do today, and we will just jump straight into some rank. Game 1 versus Black Luster Soldier. We open a hand of no normal summonable monsters, so we just set 2 and pass. They activate the field spell Gateway to Chaos and search BLS Super Soldier from the deck. They normal summon Gaia as a 1900, set two back row, and get in for 19. We special summon Vice Dragon in attack and set Lost Wind, then pass it over. They set another back row and summon Beginning Knight, to which we chain Iron Dragon to special summon itself and pop every card in its column. They attack with Gaia into Vice Dragon, and we flip over Chalice to boost our attack by 400, but also negate Vice Dragon's effect that weakened it, boosting its attack to 2400. Our turn and we go straight to battle. Iron Dragon attacks into Call of the Haunted, which brings back Gaia as a 23. We use Lost Wind in Damage Step to half its attack, and get in for 28.50. Their turn and they flip over Exchange of Night and Day, then chain Gateway to add Super Soldier Ritual, which they then activate, sending Chaos Emperor Dragon to special summon Super Soldier from the hand. They attack over Iron Dragon for 1k damage and throw it back to us. We normal summon Metal Rocket and set Tidying before passing it back. They set a back row, go to combat, and are hit by Tidying, bouncing Metal Rocket and Super Soldier back to hand. We normal summon Metal Rocket again and get in for 37, putting them on 950 life points. Their turn, they flip Beginning of Heaven and Earth, adding BLS Envoy of the Beginning to hand. Alright, so he has a BLS. That's got to be close to game, right? He can banish Light Dark. Oh, but it's Inherent Summon, which means we should be able to Horn of Heaven it. Inherent Summon! Oh man, that might be game. They activate Fiend Sanctuary to summon a token that reflects damage. Use Exchange to add BLS Envoy back to the hand and then end. We drop Regeki on the token and swing in for lethal damage. But they flip over another Call of the Haunted, reviving Gaia once more. We use Polymerization and make Starving Venom. Since when Venom is destroyed, it takes all other special summon monsters with it. Their turn, they normal summon Gaia as a 19 and then scoop it up. 1 0. Game 2 versus Dragon Maids. They normal summon Laundry Dragon Maid, who sends the top 3 cards from deck to grave. Then use Dragon Maid Send Off to special summon Parla from hand by returning Laundry, who is now immune to destruction and sends Ernest from deck to grave. We set Eagle, set Lost Wind, and pass it back. They normal Kitchen, chain Tidying to revive Ernest, then search Chamber and discard Lorper. They return Kitchen to hand to revive Lorper, 
and attack into our eagle, letting us steal Lorpar for ourselves. They then return Ernest to hand to special laundry from hand, milling themselves for another three, and special summon chamber from hand with Ernest's effect. They then use Dragon Maid Welcome from Grave and Chain Chamber, to which we lost Wind Chamber to try and keep them off of Dragon Tidying. They then return Change Over to Hand, activate it, and trade Chamber for House Dragon Maid. We use Lost Wind's effect to return it to the field. Our turn and they attempt to use House effect and we hit it with another Lost Wind. We then Special Iron Dragon and Pop Laundry, then Normal Summon DD Warrior Lady and get in for 47. They normal nurse and revive chamber. Effect search is welcome. They use welcome and take changeover back to hand. They activate hospitality, special kitchen from hand, then dump tink heck. Kitchen effect searches and discards nudyal and then return all of their dragon maids to the hand to special summon three high level maids from the graveyard. Clear our board and hit in for a chunk of damage. They then return Ernest to hand to special summon Nurse, and use Ernest effect to discard it and special summon Chamber. In our turn, they use House effect to special Parlor from Grave and dump Tidying. We activate Ravine, discard Light Pulsar to dump Destrudo. We normal Rocket Synchron, revive Destrudo, which was our only target, then banish Rocket Synchron and two from Grave to Special Protoss, who then destroys all light monsters. Destrudo blows up at the end of the turn, and they bring back all their big dragons, who, thanks to Welcome, are bigger than Protoss, so they attack over us for game. One one. Game three versus Gene Raiders. So they open with a set back row and Swords of Revealing Light and then end. So we have no idea what they're on. Our turn, we have the option to set Level Warrior or use Lightning Storm, but we have no information. So it seems like a bit of a waste. So we pass the turn. In our end step, they use Gene Raider boss fight to activate Gene Raider boss stage from deck, which in turn special summons Ha from the deck. Special summoning four tokens until the end of the turn. We discard Destrudo for turn, and then their turn, they change hard to attack and hit us for 3k. We draw for turn, triggering boss stage, letting them special summon Nidhogg from deck and three tokens. Now they have a monster and spell trap negates, so there isn't a lot we can do. We drop Lightning Storm, which is negated with Ha. Then special summon Level Warrior in defense, then normal Apocryph, then use Destrudo effect, trying to bait out the negate. 
We then synchro into Black Rose, which is met by a negate. We don't have another Dark Monster in hand, or Grave, so we have no way to perform a fusion, so we link into Striker to get another Dark in rotation, then banish a Light and Dark for Light Pulsar to try and survive the next turn. They use World Legacy Monstrosity to special Frody and Utgarda, then Xyz into Heart Earth, who attacks into our Light Pulsar and reflects the damage back at us for game. 1-2. Game 4 versus Cyber Dragons. They normal hurts and drop future fusion and then pass. We activate Lightning Storm and they quit. Uh, yeah. Game 5. Our opponent activates Burden of the Mighty, sets 2 back row, normals Savasaurus, equips it with Moon Mirror Shield. We drop Lightning Storm and wipe their back row, normal APOC, and banish it for Darkness Metal. Set a back row, and they surrender. 3-2. Game 6. They set a monster and pass. We special Level Warrior and normal Phantom. Xyz into Malevolent Sin and attack into their Bestiari. Looks like we're against Glad Beasts. They normal a quest, special test tiger, use its effect to tag a quest for Darius, then use his effect to revive Bestiari, and contact fuse into Geyserus, popping our spider. They get in for 24 and tag out into Augustus and Vespasius. Augustus effect special summons a second Vespasius from hand, who is then contact fused with Augustus into Tamer Editor. Who then specials Domitianus from the extra deck, ignoring summoning conditions. We drop Regeki. We bomb Malevolent Sin. And get in for 24. They hit us with a Regeki of their own, normal bestiari, hit in, and then try to tag out when we ash them. We normal apoc, set solemn, hit in for 1k. They pass without doing anything. We normal Warrior Lady get in for 1k, then on our Warrior Lady attack, they use Noxious from hand, which we banish with Lady. They set two back row and pass. We tribute APOC for Vice and try to get in for 2k. They flip over Tri Brigade Revolt, which we negate with Solemn, and they flip over Gladiator Beast United, which specials Geyserus and Pops Vice. So both of their back row could special summon a big monster that can pop a monster during our turn. Their turn, they just get in for game. 3-3. Three, three. Game 7. They open Unizombie, dumping Necroworld Banshee, banishing it to activate Zombie World from deck. They then use Unizombie to pitch Mezuki and pass. We normal Metal Rocket and reborn their Mizuki, as if they have nothing in hand that cuts them off of a starter. We attack in for 21. They normal Gozuki, dump Mezuki, banishes to special summon Unizombie, uses it to dump Eldritch, sets two back row, 
then Unizombie discards Glow Up Bloom, which banishes itself to Special Doom King from the deck. They send Designated to Grave to use Eldlich to special itself from Grave. Then, they attack over our monster. We special Omni Dragon from hand, forgetting that we don't get his effect due to Zombie World, and get attacked down to 17. We special Vice in Defense, normal Chamber Dragon Maid, use its effect to search. In response, they use Doom King, to which we chain Iron Dragon, popping their Unizombie. sees Baguska to try and wall up. They use Gazuki and Grave to revive Mezuki. Then set a back row and pass. We set Blazing Mirror Force and end. They flip over Droplet, negate Baguska's effect, and with our wall broken, we fall before the might of the zombies. Three, four. Game eight versus Shadows. They open Shadow Fusion, combining Hedgehog and Driver into Construct. Then use Hedgehog to add Dragon and Construct to dump another Hedgehog. They set one monster and pass. We normal Warrior Lady and attack into Construct, banishing both then set two back row. They activate Magical Meltdown, add Alistair. Normal to search Invocation. Link into Artemis, which we are able to negate and destroy with Black Horn of Heaven. We normal Planeter, attack into Dragon, who bounces Planeter. They set one and pass back to us. We normal planter again, which is met with a Shadow Schism. We use tidying to attempt to delay the fusion for a turn and keeping our graveyard empty. We set a back row and pass. They set and end once again. We normal planter, they chain Schism, we attempt to solemn it, forgetting that Meltdown protects it from negation. and we're forced to end our turn using Planeta to search Destrudo. They use Invocation to fusion summon Mechaba, and we use Invocation Effect to search Alistair. They attack with Mechaba into Planeta, so we respond with Lost Wind, which is met by Alistair from hand, but we do manage to stay alive. We normal Wyvern, attack into Mechaba, which is met with Max C. We tribute Wyvern to special Nudyal, who attacks over Winder.
They use Schism to Fusion Summon Construct again. And dump Wendy, who sets Squamata, and at this point, we know it's over. They flip Squamata to pop our Dragon Maid, use Invocation, and hits us for game. Game 9 versus Destiny Heroes. We normal Planeter, add Destrudo. They use Destiny Draw, discarding Dogma to draw 2. They normal Drill Duck and special Diamond Dude from hand. Diamond Effect reveals Malicious, which doesn't do anything. They then use Polymerization to summon Dangerous and attack our Planeter, using Dangerous Effect to boost their attack. They set one and pass. We special vice, normal summon phalanx, synchro into black rose and are met with solemn judgment. Since their back row is gone, we cannot special summon our mech knight and so have no plays. They have lethal on board so we know we've lost at this point. They normal stratos and attack for game. So 3-6. Well, 3-6 is not exactly a great score for the episode, but the higher up the ranks we climb, the harder the opposition should be, so it does kind of make sense. We're now in Silver 2, and the series total is 12-10. So, we still have more wins than losses for now? Moving on to crafting. So, today's bundles are going to be the Tri-Brigade bundle, which stars Rugal, Keras, and Fractal. The Melfi bundle, which consists of Melfi Puppy, Melfi Fenny, and Melfi Tag. And the Dragon Bundle, starring Destrudo, Brotar, and Divine Dragon Apocrylph. So you will find the poll, as always, down in the description. Thanks for watching.